Like in a sense, the government plays just as much of a role in separation as everyone else does. If not the most, you know what I mean? What's good? K. C. K. We're back with another video that we're gonna be doing Tom McDonald dummies. Uh, we'll get to that video you wanted us to do, Tom. If you watch us, and we'll get to it. We saw it. Um, we gotta get to it though. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure on post notifications. Smash that like button. Pop, 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 pop. Watch this video all the way through. We appreciate you. Come follow us on Patreon or on TikTok. Yes. TikTok growing. Let's get right into the video though. Y'all already know Tom brings it, so we know what it's gonna be. I love the earth, but I don't really want to save it Everything is sexist, homophobic, or it's racist When life gives us lemons, we're supposed to want to change it But my generation rather take some pills than escape it Say that I'm transphobic if you wanna But one day I'll be a father And I really hope my son don't grow up to be my daughter I ain't trying to hurt your feelings Skin should be a little thicker That's the problem, being honest, got them triggered The kids are getting weaker Cause they're sheltered by society Pumpkin spice, Ativan for seasonal anxiety Wokeness has become a way to bully non-violently And cancel everyone without improving on the life we live without That's true that's true. Like, it's, it's crazy because, like, I wonder, like, when it comes to, like, the whole gender thing, like, I wonder, like, how we're going to really, like, apply it, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? Like, we should teach our children, like, the biology of everything. But I don't know. I don't know. He said wokeness is also, um, wokeness is also a way to bully people, yeah? I think woke is going to go away eventually, too. I keep saying woke on my TikToks, but I keep thinking I might, I might take that away, too, because everybody claims to be woke. And I don't know. I think woke is just having knowledge. Yeah. That's all I think it is, is just having knowledge on a topic. But then again, some people have knowledge. I don't know. It don't make sense to say some people have knowledge and they're complete idiots. That don't make sense. I think like people are idiots in specific topics, but people are intelligent in specific areas. If that makes any sense. Yeah, Elon okay. Musk is intelligent in technology, but he's not. He very... probably couldn't tell you how a woman's reproductive system works. Yeah. Or maybe he fucking could. Or he's not um, very knowledgeable, or he he's socially awkward. He is though. Like he's he's smart as shit, but like I mean, the Joe Rogan podcast, he was just socially awkward. Yeah. Let's keep going. But he he's smart as shit though. Without the white, there's no black. Without the straight, there's no gay. Without the men, there's no women. Without the night, there's no day. Without the idiots, we couldn't laugh at them when they fall. So maybe we need them after all. Ain't nobody dumber than y'all. Ain't nobody dumber than y'all. Yes, you love to be wrong. You don't have the touch of the boss. Dum, 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 I love the earth, but I don't really want to save it Everyone's obsessed with making stupid people famous If a white boy raps, then it's called appropriation But Beyonce dyes her hair blonde and people say she slayed it Everybody's outraged, everybody's mad Our solutions to the issues don't make no sense If stairs are the problem, we build wheelchair ramps We don't cancel feet or persecute the people with legs The feminists who started the movement would be ashamed of so many things They fought so you could vote, I show your butthole on OnlyFans I'm not a bad person cause you don't like what I say Call me homophobic just because I think straight I love people even though we disagree I wish we could get Wi-Fi signals from a tree Then everyone would plant them and we'd probably save the planet for free Too bad we only need them to breathe That's true Ain't nobody dumber than y'all Ain't nobody dumber than y'all Yes, you love to be wrong You don't have the touch of the boss Dum, 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 dum I love the earth, but I don't really want to save it Classifying people by their sex and race degrades them But we still say straight white men Let me say something, bro, that somebody made me think about, right? Okay, so We saying that it's always a conversation amongst black people about race But let's think about it On every, the government, like really The government is making us consistently think about race You have to put race on everything You have to put what ethnicity you are you have to put all that on everything. And then they separate certain Americans by calling them African-Americans, Asian-Americans, Mexican-Americans. And I was talking to Caleb about this. I was like, if you want to stop all this shit, why don't we all just lump everybody in the same boat? If you're born on this soil, then you're an American. Yeah. Why do we have to put like different ethnicities and shit on our fucking thing? Like we could put male, female, and we could put, we don't have to put black. We could just put American. You're an American. You were born on this soil, you're an American. You don't have to put white. You don't have to put Caucasian in that shit. Like, the government does that shit. They round it. Think about it. 
every 10 years they round up a census on how many people are in the U.S. and they go African Americans, uh, white Americans, Asian Americans. They do that shit. Like in a sense, the government plays just as much of a role in separation as everyone else does, if not the most. You know what I mean? If they came out with something that just said everybody's an American. I think like it would change like a lot of this conversation. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too wide ahead about it. But I think if you're born in the soil, you're an American. You're not African. We're not. We weren't. We, you know what I mean? Like you don't. You, I know people gonna argue with me about this. But like you're not an African American if you weren't born in Africa. You know what I mean? You're not an Asian American if you were born in Asia. You were born on this soil. You're an American. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Like I know. I'm, I don't know, I might catch hell for that, and maybe I won't catch hell for that, but I don't give a fuck, because that's what I'm thinking, that's, what I, that's how I feel about it. If you took that off, a lot of, like, a lot of government, um, I can't think right now about what all of it's called, but I mean, like, you have to put ethnicity and all that shit before you get a job, before you go get a car, before you go pretty much go to the doctor, you know what I'm saying? You gotta put, like, what you are consistently, so you're constantly being bombarded with that idea of what you are. Why can't, like, you just have, like, oh, he's an American, so... He's American, he's here, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm thinking too much about it, but I think that would stop a lot of the conversation about race. Because, like, I feel like a lot of jobs, they're like, oh, we don't discriminate. So if you don't discriminate, then why does it matter? Why does... <laughs> why do I have to tell you I'm black? Like, you know what I mean? Like, can't you fucking see that when I walk in the door? So, like, it's like, why do I have to tell you that? Like, I don't know. I, I feel that. I feel that. I feel like, but I, I just think it's weird like when people try to say like black people are starting this whole conversation and the argument is always black people are making this argument. It's like, I mean, it's not just black people making this argument. Even white people want to be like comfortable with their heritage. I hear a lot of white people tell me like they like their Italian heritage, their French heritage. Like, uh, you know what I mean? I hear a lot of white people telling me shit like this. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. You know what I mean? Like, that's okay. It's just weird to say like one side is the only one doing it all. We have a whole system of putting people in boxes. <laughs> yeah. Gotta take all that shit away and maybe we might be better. Like he gone. I like what he's talking about though. I know y'all wanna I know y'all want me to speak on the cultural appropriation thing. I'm not gonna speak on it because I don't give a shit. When I was in the comment section engaging y'all on cultural appropriation, I wasn't trying to say that you can't do it. I was just saying like why one side is feeling one way about something. A lot of shit has been stolen from certain cultures and a lot of people are just mad about it. Like if you go throughout history, I think cultural appropriation is a historical thing. I don't know if it has anything to do with today. I think there's too, it's, we're too, there's too many cultures lumped in one continent to be talking about, ooh, you're stealing from me and you're stealing from, it's too much of that shit. I think when they're talking about cultural appropriation, it's just historical stuff. Historical yeah. reference, but I don't know. Hmm. I get going. White males are the worst of our population. Guess the labels are okay if they're Caucasian. My kids are living in their rooms. I swear we barely ever see them. Go outside sometime. There's fresh air you could be breathing. Put your phones down. Play sports. Do something illegal. Go and meet your families. They're probably nice people. These days you're a Nazi if you don't hate the police. They say that white folks think all Asian people are Chinese. I'm sorry. What kind of white people you mean? English, Scottish, German, Swedish, or Greek. And Black Lives Matter was problematic. It excludes anyone without the pigment. It's automatic. I understand all the reasons it happened, but including all humans is the actual answer. Ain't nobody dumber than y'all. Ain't nobody dumber. You know what? I actually agree with him. There was a, a, a comment I got on, like, on TikTok from this one guy where he was like, uh, he was basically like, he. First of all, what I was saying had nothing to do with separating anybody. I was just saying why Black Lives Matter came into existence, right? And um, I actually took. I actually took that down. I didn't even keep it up because of what he said. Because I was like, I don't want nobody to think I'm trying to separate nobody on, on TikTok. I'm not trying to do that. But like, but, um, but, but his comment was, he said basically like, white people be shot by the police too and nobody mentions any of them. And I'm like, you're right. We do need to start doing that. We need to start, we need to start letting people know that our government fails us in certain areas. You know what I mean? And not, it's not just with the police. Like the system in general is fucking failing us. It's failing us all. So we need to let everybody know at once. Like we need to, we need to, we need to get everybody included on this, so like everybody can stop fighting amongst each other and realize like, okay, we need to change the system. The system doesn't make any fucking sense. We don't even rehabilitate our prisoners. Like we put them back into society for a society not to accept them. It doesn't make any sense. I was, y'all go look into this. Look into how Germany does their prisoners. I think that's like the most beautiful way to do it. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think that's the most beautiful way to do it. Like, don't fucking make it to where they can't go back into society for crimes like drug crimes and shit like that, stupid shit. 
Like, if, I mean, if they murder somebody, I mean, I don't want to think about that, but you know, but if, if it's like a drug crime or jaywalking or some stupid shit like that, they should be able to come back in society and move fine to society. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's just weird, but I do feel like, uh, I went way too far with that, but, uh, I do feel like if we include everybody in on that, it makes sense because my question back to dude was why don't white people go crazy for each other when they see somebody get killed by the police injustice. Like when they see an injustice for a white person, why don't you go crazy? Yeah. Why don't you go help the families? Why don't you make people say their names? Like, why don't you? I don't understand that. Battle me in the comment section. I'm interested. Hey, and if y'all want us to, talk to us. We'll do it. Like black people do it for you. Like we'll do it. Oh, okay. I want us to speak for these people. I guarantee you, if you went to a crowd of black people and were like, hey, you guys mind marching for this guy that this happened to? We got you. I guarantee you we'll do it. We loyal as hell as people. I guarantee you we'll do it. I love this song though. It's dope. Like, that's what I like about Tom, man. It just make you think. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's definitely dope though. But yeah, comment down below what y'all think. Two new albums, September 3rd. Yeah, I'ma get them. Oh yeah, he working. He working hard. <laughs> Two new albums? That's dang. dope. Nah, that's fire though. I like that. Yeah, I like, I like that. I like the video too. You like the video? Yeah. With the dummies. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice. I didn't notice the dummies until you said it. <laughs> nah, I love it though, man. You gotta, like, I love, like, I, I always tell y'all this. Tom reminds me a lot of, like, Modernized Nas, like Nas had you thinking a lot in your lyrics. A lot of rap made you think. It made you go like, okay, this is like, this is a good point. And I think it's crazy because I know we put like liberals up on our thing to trigger y'all, but we ain't no fucking liberals. We're not even really conservatives. I, I don't know where I stand on the scale of any of this shit. I mean, I I don't know. I don't, I could pretty much assume you probably don't even know where you stand on the scale of any of this shit. Like we don't know where we stand on the scale of any of this shit. Right, but because like one side, both sides sound stupid, and both sides sound both sides sound smart. Yeah. And I think every American kind of sits in that area. I don't think anybody like is really like, I'm 100% Republican or I'm 100% Democrat. I don't know some people. Ah, uh, yeah, there are some crazy people out there. They just be like, I literally like, like that's why I said we need to take we need to take political parties off the ballot. Don't see Republican or Democrat. You have to go to the ballot and research that person and see if they agree with your views. Fuck all that, because like, people could just go straight to the ballot and be like, Republican, 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 Republican. No, fuck all that. Democrat, 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 Democrat. Fuck all that. Nope, just take that shit off the ballot and make people, when they're standing there in that ballot, research who the fuck that is they're looking at. Yeah. And see, like, do my views really agree with what this person is talking about? Yeah. Anyways, too much talking. Conversation. You, you know how I am. <laughs> Too much talking. All right, y'all. Peace. Bye. This is close. The camera's so much closer. It's so much better, y'all. Do I look beautiful? Peace out, y'all.